Milas boys and girls and welcome to a new video. Ever since I first started playing Bad Wars back about four and a half years ago, I constantly tried to improve my skill by learning new PvP skills, by learning new bridging skills and all of that. Just everything that is needed for Bad Wars. And I have done that ever since, basically ever since the day I started playing Bad Wars. Every single day I watch Minecraft videos centered around Bad Wars by the best players in the world to improve my strategies. I constantly am looking for guides around PvP and tutorials around PvP to find out if anyone has found new PvP methods or if I can improve my already existing PvP methods, all of that. But the other day something happened that I did not expect. I wasn't actually actively looking for a new PvP method or anything. I was just playing sumos. You know, I always play sumos before I start playing Bad Wars just to warm up. And while playing sumos, I accidentally messed up my W tap timing, or at least so I thought, and I realized that suddenly I was getting way better hits. So I started trying to remember what I did wrong there or actually did right because it worked out way better than usually and i figured that i placed my w tapping timing a little bit different usually once i see my opponent light up red which means i landed a hit i immediately let go of w and tap it once again in order to you know w tap that's how it works this time i waited for the red light to shine and after it stopped shining i w tapped and you know what this did well i Yes, that is how you actually double your tap because suddenly I was able to get way crazier hits and combos. I am going to try to demonstrate this once I meet my next opponent here. Gone and... Okay, now look at this. Okay, that wasn't the best example. They had their back against the wall. But I'll try to show it to you in a game of sumos. First of all, this is my B4. Basically, whenever I hit the opponent and they start lighting up red, I immediately let go of W and press it again. That looks like this. Well, it uh, does work, especially since they aren't too good, but it doesn't work that well, you know? I beat him, but I didn't really get a combo. I didn't really get two good hits. Also, I'm about to level up to godlike. That's gonna be a video. And I have a win streak of 24. What? <laughs> and now I'll show you how I will do it from this day on. Basically, once I hit them, they're gonna turn red. And I only let go of W tap once they stopped turning red. Which basically looks like this. I can get way more hits because my W taps are more optimized. And it just feels really satisfying. I will show you again in this game. I really hope you understood what I'm trying to say here. But basically, this means that I'm like 10 times better in PvP now. It's actually pretty crazy. Sadly, this server has been pretty laggy the past couple weeks, but I think you know what I mean, huh? Now, I assume myself to be able to perfect this in like the next four to six weeks, and uh, that is going to be a big thing. And speaking of the next couple weeks, I'm actually only three stars away from the number one Bad Wars player in Germany, so I'll probably pass him this weekend. So expect the next video next week to be the video where I talk about how I am the number one German Bad Wars player now. Obviously not in skill, but uh, at least when it comes to stars. In skill, everybody knows that I'm the number one player in the entire world. <laughs> But did you see how the new PvP method helps me? Holy man! <laughs> I'm too excited about this, I know. Why am I always so excited about things? I hope that is one of the reasons you enjoy my content, that I can just be excited about this game, even though everybody has been playing this for 10 years already. I can never get tired of Bad Wars and Minecraft PvP. I still watch hours and hours of YouTube content of Minecraft PvP every single day. Fun fact, I even have a playlist with a bunch of different PvP videos, montages, commentary videos, all that, that always motivate me to play bad wars so if you want to find that playlist i can set it to unlist and just uh, link it down in the video description so just be sure to check out the link in the video description to my bad wars refresh playlist and maybe that inspires you to play some bad wars you can just click on this icon and add it to your own playlist it only takes a second it's pretty easy the next thing i wanted to talk about is double coins and xp is back so that means i will get even closer to 250 high pixel levels black plus plus i'm really excited for that i just hit 237 high pixel levels today and if my calculations are correct i should hit 
Holy, he's crazy with it. <laughs> but if my calculations are correct, I should hit 250 high pixel levels pretty soon, actually. I should get one high pixel level every like three days now. So that is pretty fast. Depends on how long the double coins and XP lasts. And they also made it so you can complete 15 daily quests instead of uh, 10. I still remember, I believe this was back during the hardcore pandemic days, but they set it to triple coins and XP for like a decent while. And they also made it so you could complete 15 or even 20 daily quests. That was crazy. I got so many high pixel levels. I think I got like 15 to 20 high pixel levels during that time period. It was pretty crazy. But now how about we take out Aqua? Let's see how good you are. Oh, you have a trap. That was a good- oh god. Okay, my aim was so shaky there, and sadly I am on fire, so I'm hoping to be able to... Okay. What? He's on... Ah, oh, he's on half a health, uh, a half a heart, half a health. That is really unfortunate. And now we have to take care of white first, because otherwise they might go for us. Yeah, they're already going for us. Okay. Alright, white, let's have a fight. I did not edit out any games so far yet, and I haven't played Bellwars other than for the recording today. So I'm pretty good today, not gonna lie. Probably because of the new PvP method. <laughs> but for real, this is like brokenly overpowered. If you didn't know this whole timing thing, then I hope I also helped you out a bunch. Alright, let's uh, take this guy on. Oh, they have an auto-clicker. I'm just kidding. That didn't look like an auto-clicker. And now you're gone. <laughs> Next game. Thanks to this crazy new leaderboard update, I am able to actually show you what's going on here. Basically, that is me. And up here, you can see GB81, which is insane. They haven't played in so long. I checked their high stats profile a million times, so I will pass Gamer Boy 81 the origin of the GB80 name, the man, the myth, the legend, so crazy. And just above him, you can see Black Member 1337. And uh, that is the number one iPixel Bellwars player in Germany for stars, and they have three stars more than me. And they're not actively playing. They're playing like 100 games a month or something. So we'll pass some suit, and we're going to be the number one Hypixel German Bellwars player. Crazy. And our last game is actually going to be on Rooftop. Oh, I love Rooftop. You probably know this, but Rooftop is one of my favorite maps. Such an OG map. Makes me so nostalgic. It reminds me of the good old days when Hashida was still uploading YouTube videos. GB80 was still number one with 1,000 stars. And, uh, oh yeah, those were great times. I actually remember GB80 saying I grinded 8 stars last night so I could hit 800 stars today as the first person ever. That's crazy. Nowadays he gets like... 8 stars in the time period of a year or something, and back then he got 8 stars a night. I, I really wanted to hit 800 stars today, so what I did was, I, I had work all day yesterday, and then I kind of just stayed up all night grinding, 5 stars, and hey, here I am, hitting 800. I'm also extremely tired. He was talking about that on Lectus, back when it still had the old generator that was not actually the way it is today because they changed it nowadays you only have to walk backwards what am i even talking about here acts you are not willing to hear so we're just gonna take out pink they seem a little bit laggy but they also don't see seem like they know what they're doing so we should be fine here indeed green also already got taken out so we might want to Pay attention to that. Okay, now yellow got taken out, so we're gonna go for aqua next. And now gray is also getting taken out. Ooh. Oh, okay, that was a close one, GG's bow. But now I will go ahead and void for health. And now we only have to take out blue. They already seemed like the biggest threat in the pregame, so I hope it's not going to be too sweaty of a fight. One downside about this whole new W tab, obviously I'm not used to it yet. I still have to concentrate a lot on it if I actually want to pull it off. So whenever it gets stressful in game, I'm most of the time not going to be able to do that, which uh, is really unfortunate. But I am going to work on this, I will just get used to it, and at some point I can do it even when we have stressful situations. What are you doing? Did you even see me? Are they actually good at the video game? Hmm. I don't know. 
And here we are at their base. We have every single tool, including shears. <gasps> okay. <laughs> I kind of overreacted here. I got lagged back and I thought they could just hit me off because of that. And now let's see if we can take him on here. Oh god. I got the back against the wall. James tactic. No. Ah. See, that was a stressful situation, so I couldn't really pull off the W tap there. But I believe it was a really decent attempt. Okay, here they are at mid. We have to take them out here, otherwise they are going to get emeralds, and that is really dangerous. I believe they can just get back to their base here, which uh, enables them to buy something with their M's. Holy! <laughs> That fight, I really concentrated on the W taps, and I just made him fly. He couldn't even get back down anymore. Good fight, bro. Good fight. So the conclusion to all of this is this timing thing, I'm really glad I figured it out. It definitely makes me way better at PvP, but I still have to really concentrate on it. So in the future, my plan is to get used to it. So even in stressful situations, I am able to use this. As you just saw there in the final fight, it is really overpowered. And even if you have to combo against the wall, I believe you also saw that in the first fight on Skywise, it is still really overpowered. And it just lifts people up in the air and they can't do anything anymore. I am still going to try to learn something new every single day when it comes to PvP. Still trying to get even better so I can give you the best content possible. If you enjoy that, leave a subscription. And have a wonderful rest of the day or night. Remember to check out my Bowers Refresh playlist in the video description. And good bye.